Today I'm dressed as one of my favourite ever book characters from one of my favourite books, I Am George, from George's Marvelous Medicine by Roald Dahl, a book that I first read when I was about seven years old. If you haven't read this book, and you really should if you haven't, it's about a little boy named George Cranky who lives on a farm with his mum, his dad and his horrible, terrible, awful grandmother. She sits in her chair all day, she's bossy and she's selfish and she's mean and she says horrible things to him and she she takes a lot of medicine every hour she has medicine and it's George's job to prepare it and bring it to her and one day he just kind of gets sick of this and he decides he's going to make her a new medicine all by himself in the hopes that it will make her a little bit kinder a little bit more lively and so he goes around every room in their house and he goes to the farm and he mixes all sorts of bathroom products and kitchen products and animal medicine and he gives it to his grandmother. I don't want to spoil the ending so I'm not going to tell you what happens but basically she gets her comeuppance. The reason I'm telling you this and the reason I'm dressed like this is because this week Save the Children launched their new Read On Get On campaign. Their research shows that thousands of children in the UK are leaving school without being able to read well, particularly children from poorer backgrounds. Save the Children want to help these children by providing books and providing thousands of Born to Read volunteers across the country. By 2025 they want to have all children across the country from every background reading well by the time they leave primary school aged 11. I love reading, I'm so passionate about reading because I think it unlocks doors for learning and for advancing into your career but I also think it unlocks doors for creativity and imagination. I was drawn to the character of George as a child because he was naughty and he was inventive. He was pretty much the opposite of me as a child and he inspired me to go to my bathroom about once a week and just put everything Thing in the sink and mix it together and make my own marvellous medicines. Thankfully I never gave them to my grandparents but he also inspired me to read and to pick up more books and fall in love with more really great main characters. My favourite quote from the book is this one. George didn't say a word. He felt quite trembly. He knew something tremendous had taken place that morning. For a few brief moments he had touched with the very tips of his fingers the edge of a magic world. That's exactly how I felt when I put down this book and I want children across the country and across the world to know that feeling and to fall in love with reading. If you want to help save the children with their new campaign, you can text GEORGE to 70008 and donate £5 to the Read On Get On campaign and help children fall in love with reading. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to link lots of my friends' videos where they've dressed as lovely characters in the description and I will see you soon. Bye!